How do I transition my house for fall? Well, in this video, I am answering that question. Keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you're new to my channel and you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to learn about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe. But definitely check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'll link my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's jump into it. I am participating in a challenge hosted by the DIY Mommy and she asked us to present a fall video. It could be home decor, it could be DIY, it could be a tablescape, room tour, whatever, as long as it was about fall. And one of my subscribers wanted to know how I transitioned my house for fall. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show her what it is that I do. Now, I am not done. This is the beginning of the process. But I'll show you how I get it started and where I am so far. Let's take a look. The first thing I do is hang a wreath on the front door. It's the first thing people see when they come up on the walk or if they're walking down the street or when they walk up on the porch. This is the first thing they see, so I want them to see something that's welcoming. So the first thing I do to start the process is to hang a wreath on the door. So now we'll go in and you can see what's in the entryway. And as you come in the door, you are immediately in my entryway. So then the next thing you'll see is my cozy corner. And it's very welcoming. And this year, I participated in our Lens Country Craft Corners Cozy Corner Challenge. So I got my cozy corner set up and I set it up in the entryway instead of the kitchen this year. So that helped me prepare to transition my home for fall. Now the next room that I like to transition is the kitchen. So once I put the wreath on the door, then I start working on the kitchen because the kitchen is my favorite room in the house. I'm sitting at that table, either looking out the window, working on my iPad, having dinner, chatting, talking on the phone, working on my planner. I'm either at that table or at this counter. So the next room that I want to have fall ready is the kitchen. So let me show you what I've got going on in here so far. Now over here, I've got a small vignette that pretty much this little tray sits out here all the time. I almost always have this white teapot on it and some of these florals, they might switch out a little bit depending upon the season, but I like having this tray here. So I just try to zhuzh it up a little bit by adding some fall picks. So I added some fall maple leaves and a little pumpkin pick here, put a nice little cinnamon um, fragrance, pine cone, and uh, pumpkin little collection there. And so now I've taken this farmhouse uh, vignette to something that is suitable for fall. And I still got some of my favorite pieces here. The other thing that I'll do to transition the kitchen to fall is I'll switch out this cup that I leave sitting on my Keurig. Most of the time, I have this one and it just says coffee makes everything possible and it's black and white and it pretty much goes just fine. It's kind of unobtrusive. But for fall, I might switch out to this one and you see just a little bit more of the oranges and browns that you see in the fall. So this one will live here for a while. And then the other things here pretty much stay here. This red base for my Vitamix actually complements fall. And then these other things here just kind of stay here. My Brewster, which has just a little bit of the red in his uh, um, crown and in his little warblers here, I'll just kind of continue with the fall color. So this area is fine here. 
But the important thing is this. Whatever's out on this counter has got to be small because this is my prep space. And I can move this aside when I need to, when I need this area to work in. But I pretty much like to have it like this when I'm not using this space. So the next thing that I'll do as I begin to work on transitioning my kitchen is put together my fall kitchen vignette. And I like to have one that's going to sit here on this counter, but again, it's got to be something that I can move aside when I need to use the space. So I'll put this over on the table when I'm prepping or just move it down to the end or something like that. So this is another thing that I do to transition for fall is put together my fall kitchen vignette. And then I'll switch out the things that I have down here. I had some more white things or clear glass things kind of to help with my farmhouse transition that complemented those areas. But as I transition to fall, I'll bring out some of my more brightly colored uh, items and put some of the white or clear glass things away. So this picture has been sitting here for a while, but I decided to fill it with some fall florals. And I love this color orange in the flowers, and then I like these little brown kind of like cattail kind of things. So it sits there to kind of camouflage the phone. We're probably one of those last few people that have a landline. And then I had put this set of measuring cups away for the season, but look at the colors that they are. They're bright and they're nice and they're fall colors. So I got this back out today as I transitioned the kitchen to fall. So I'll have these things seated up, sitting out and then I switched out that little basket and that had these garlic bulbs and then put this poppy colored bowl and filled it with these garlic bulbs. And then I brought this out of my cupboard, these just multicolored dishes here, but they're perfect for fall. So I brought these things out. So it just gives the counter a little bit more color and of course you see I continue to rock my green dishwashing liquid and hand uh, soap. But it just kind of brings the color up a notch, you know, it just gives that extra little zhuzh that I need to make that transition from summer to fall. So then once I get my kitchen vignette done and I start getting some things done over here, then I'll work on a centerpiece for the kitchen table. So let's take a look at that. So here's my centerpiece for my kitchen table and note that it is small and I need to have a centerpiece small because I've got a small table. I don't like to keep the leaf in it. I want it to be nice and small because there's just the two of us. So with this particular vignette, I can move it to the countertop when I need to move things aside or the two of us can eat our meal and I can have things in the middle of the table and it's not in the way. So this centerpiece will be the next thing that I get done. And then the next thing I'd work on would be this corner. I like to have this corner decorated for the various seasons as well. So then I would add my fall florals and pumpkins and whatever I'm going to do over here. And then sometimes I even put things along this rail in here because I like to use this as additional space that I can decorate things with. So I've got this really nice, um, kind of like a um, milk can that says give thanks with a grateful heart. And then this little uh, decorative box that I made in one of the challenges that I participated in. And then of course I keep this little squirrel here all the time and then this little plate that just says live well, laugh often, and love much. But it all works together in that fall theme. I'll even add a spot of color right here on top of the microwave. I've got this little pumpkin bowl and this pumpkin plate. And I'll have them just kind of sitting up here on top of the microwave just to add a little bit of color there. not mentioned are these paintings and these poppy paintings I hung here in the kitchen in the spring and they're perfect for not only spring but the oranges and the yellows and the reds and the browns and greens are also perfect for fall so as I transition my kitchen from summer to fall 
just adding more oranges and golds and reds in the kitchen does it just fine. So now here's what I want you to keep in mind. I am transitioning my house to fall. It's not done yet. I'm still in the process of it. But as I explained to you earlier, I start with putting the wreath on the door. And then once that's done, I get my entryway done. And this year, my entryway was my fall cozy corner. And then I come on down in here, and then I will do my fall kitchen vignette. And then once that's done, then I'll decide, what am I gonna do to zhuzh up that little tray over there by the uh, curette machine? It's out all year round, but what am I gonna do to zhuzh it up for fall? And then once I get that decided, then I will decide what's gonna go here on the counter, keeping in mind that the counter is limited as to what I can put there. Once that's done, then I'll decide on my centerpiece here on the table, and then I'll work on my cozy corner in the kitchen, and then I'll begin to think about a few things in the family room. Now, I don't put a lot in the family room. I might just put a pillow on the sofa and a centerpiece on the table because I pretty much look at the family room as my husband's space. Even though we both use it, that's about as much of a man cave as we've got here, other than his art studio, which of course, you know, I wouldn't decorate in there. But so for the family room though, I'll only put out maybe a pillow or two and then a centerpiece on the table in there. And then once that's done, I'll think about whatever I'm gonna do in the living room and then I work on the porch, which is my favorite thing to do. Once I'm done with the kitchen, the porch is my favorite thing. But I feel like I need to get inside the house done before I start outside. So now my question for you is, what part of the process do you have questions about, you can let me know in the comment section below. And again, let me take this opportunity to thank the DIY Mommy for hosting this challenge. It really kind of gave me the push I needed to answer that subscriber who wanted to know how I transitioned my house to fall. So now I was able to let her know just very simply and neatly. And if you are not familiar with the DIY Mommy, I will link her channel below so that you can get to see the kind of things that she does over there. And then I'll also link the playlist so you can check out all the other videos that the creators have done. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.